<sighs> I'm just tired, dude. I'm so tired of it. I didn't. I just don't want to make another one of these, dude. I, you know, I had the idea at first. Whenever a tragedy happened, or he's awareness, maybe I can make a video every time it happens to show people off. And it is, but it's every day, dude. It's just every day. I wouldn't be able to even sketch. Like I wouldn't even be able to put it, fit it in my schedule to make a video. You know, every single time a mass shooting happened in the U.S. because my schedule would be so full. I don't, dude, like, I don't even want to go to work tomorrow. I mean, it's not because I don't like work. It's not because I don't like the people there. I just don't want to die, dude. I just, oh my god, dude. I, 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 I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm literally speechless. I don't know what to say anymore, dude. Every single sliver of hope that I've ever had is, is just gone, man. I had, I bought, like, this, this new mic for the camera, you know, like, if I'm not sitting in front of my desk or not doing, you know, something in the green screen room that's, like, mobile, and, I'm, I, you know, I was so excited to try it out, and then the news just flashed on, and, you know, I, I knew there was a tragedy, but I didn't know how bad it was. Like, it was that six people were shot to death in a 4th of July parade. Like, I'm sorry I'm laughing, but you can't make this up. Like, I just... Oh my god. And then also one in um one in Denmark too. That that killed three people. But they see that was their worst tragedy ever and it killed three people and you know, my country, you know, the worst tragedy ever, three people's like nothing. You wouldn't even get it on the news if you had three people dying. Like six people was even surprising. I thought it would be like more like sixteen. Like it's I don't even know what to think, dude. Like I'm just I don't feel even, like, right now, like, somebody could come into my house and they could shoot me. Like, it just doesn't feel safe anywhere, dude. I don't know... I don't know what to say. Especially since, like... I don't know. The The supermarket shooting happened really close to where some of my family members live. And so that was scary, but, like, you know... Oh, my God. Ever since you Uvalde, that was the one that really got me, dude. That was the one that really fucking got me, because... Ah, oh, dude, Sandy Hook was so horrible, and I remember hearing about that at my school, um, it was on lockdown, actually, right before that happened. It was October, and so it was, like, what, one and a half months, two months, yeah, more like two months, maybe, before, wait, I, yeah, no, I think it was October 14th, it was exactly two months, um, to the day that we were locked down, and then Sandy Hook happened two months after that, and, um, I remember that, uh, you know, like, jokes aside, I was in the closet, and I was with a few other kids, and, like, we thought it was, like, a legit real thing, but we didn't know, like, how bad it could have been if it was, you know, an actual shooter, because uh, I probably wouldn't be here right now, um, in all honesty, because we weren't, like, quiet or anything, like, we had all the doors locked. I remember, you know, I memed about it for a long time with some of my friends, the principal, he was like, lockdown, lockdown. And, you know, none of us understood why he was so freaked out at the time. Like, at least I didn't. And I think a lot of my friends didn't either. Because we were all 11, 12 at the time. But it's just, that so could have easily been us, you know? You could have just walked right on that campus. Uh, there was, like, some security, but it, it was, like, especially in my high school, there was just none, man. It was just non-existent. Anybody could, have, anybody could still do a massacre there. It's just, I don't even know what to think, man. You know, like, there would be people who talked about guns in high school and stuff, and it's like, I'm so lucky that wasn't me. Like, it's just, I don't even know what to think, dude. Like, I think what, what freaks me out the most is that, first of all, I have to make these so much. Well, I don't have to, but I just, I can't not make them, because it's just such a disheartening thing. Like, not a lot of people, I feel like, they have it so desensitized and it's it's just such a big deal that it's gone you know it's gotten this bad but uh what was i even gonna say like there's just so many thoughts going through my mind right now of even like going back to work tomorrow like i i i feel like quitting dude i don't even know if i'm safe anymore but uh, man they like like they like me at work and it's just like i don't want to just abandon them, and then I feel horrible if I left and then a shooting happened, but, like, it's just, I don't know what to do, dude. I, I don't even know. Like, it's just, it doesn't feel like we're living in a real world anymore. It, it sort of, 
it feels like not even a movie would have this much like bad stuff happening you know like but oh i remember i was gonna say yeah like i remember we were um everybody else was actually ushered to a different place than my class so my class was literally just alone on uh the first story of the school nobody else was there I think everybody else, like, all the other classrooms had to run down and evacuate, or not evacuate, but they had to go down to the basement, and they were, like, locked in this freezing, you know, dark room for, like, several hours, and uh, I don't even know what to think, dude, because, you know, if people were, like, running out and running down, and realistically, if the shooter was already there, they would all be dead, probably, so, it's just, I don't know what to do, dude, I don't really, like, there's not anywhere safe anymore like i i remember after i was hearing about that on the news i asked my aunt i was like would you like if your daughter was you know say like younger in high school like preschool or middle school anything like that and like k through 12 or maybe even high school like would she or wait high school isn't k through 12 sorry uh k through 12 or even in college like would she feel safe sending her daughter to a public school and she said no absolutely not and that was like coming from somebody who's such an optimist who who worked out you know like she worked at a school for troubled children it's just like those children look like saints now it's just like i don't even know i I don't even know anymore dude i i just i don't know what to say i wish i knew because i know i mean y'all want me to say something in a video but i just don't know what to say i i just it's embarrassing but it's so much past that point. Like, it's past... I mean, I'm looking looking at messages from my friends telling me to get the fuck out of America, first of all. But second of all, dude, it's like... I don't know... I, even if I left, I don't know how that would sit with me, dude. Like, just knowing it's so inevitable that one's gonna happen unless something's done and just nothing's gonna get done. It's like, it's so... America was like the last place I thought would have this kind of problem like 10 years ago or so when I was a kid it's just like since uh since Sandy Hook it's just gotten so much worse dude it's just gotten so much worse and I, it's just it's so surreal like I get why people think these stories are fake even though I fucking think they're despicable disgusting human beings who comment stuff like that but I get why people can't, you know, convince themselves it's real because it doesn't it doesn't even feel real. It, it feels like it's not genuinely happening until it almost happens to you. I feel like that's kind of what happened to me is like the story at work. I, I actually legit don't remember if I've told this or not because I've told so many people about this shit now that uh, uh, an old co-worker right before I, um, you know right before I started working at my, uh, Target, they, let's just say they were trying to make other people their targets, aka they came in, and they started yelling about burning the place down, well, they still could, and then they, you know, people said they saw, like, a pistol or something, and thank goodness it wasn't an assault rifle, because people would have died, 100%, and I don't know if he actually got to start shooting, or if, if, you know, police were on him that fast, but even, even the, what's it, the store um, security guards were fucking cowering. They were hiding under tables and stuff. So, in a way, I'm glad that happened because it shows you can arm somebody and they still, they still are scared to death. Even if they're not outgunned or anything. It's just like you don't, we're not programmed to walk towards somebody who is very dangerous and could potentially end our lives in like less than a couple of seconds less than a second i'd say so it's just i don't i i've actually you know i've looked up what it takes to get into canada and stuff like that and i'm scared because i don't know if i have what it takes i i just don't i don't want to work anywhere in the u.s anymore you know after this especially because it's just the last straw dude like there was no shootings for like a week and that was such a miracle right and it's just all over again it's just another cycle like i know something's gonna happen right after this it's just something is in the air that enables, like, crazy people, right, when somebody else does it, it's like, that's a perfect time for them to do it so they can continue the string kind of thing. I, I don't know. It's just so incredibly unreal, dude. It's so unfathomable that anything like this is just so normal. It's, it's like living in the Middle East. Like, and I think the Middle East, I'm sorry if I insulted anybody who's from the Middle East, right? 
because I, I think their kids at schools are safer than ours are at school here. Uh, even if they're in a militarized zone or something. I, I genuinely think it's it's gotten to the point where I if I had a country, I would put America on my like ban and no-fly list. Because um, I wouldn't want any of my citizens dying in America to some idiot with a gun. Uh, and, and you know, these people, like, a lot of them aren't even, like, dumb. They're actually really intelligent people. Like, they're intelligent human beings who know exactly how to act crazy so that people think they're not smart. Like, a lot of these people are very smart. They're just very angry. And they have the means to access these high-powered assault rifles that can take people, like, and just mow down, like, a classroom of people or a, a store and, like a couple of minutes and you know it really concerns me because somebody i know showed me how easy it was to get access to they have 31 boxes of bullets i think i counted and that's you know like i'm very close with this person so it was like i know they're not going to do anything bad especially since they're very like anti nra kind of thing um, but they, they just practice shooting at the range sometimes for fun. But, you know, seeing that was like, you can get 31 boxes and, and nobody ever, you know, this is California even, right? So we're really strict here, but nobody came to check to see if he was mentally okay. You know, nobody came to his house to inspect and like to see if he was going to plan a shooting. Nobody did anything. It was like literally just a normal purchase. It was like, you know, these were traceable, everything. Nobody nobody came over to this individual's, like, property. Nobody, nobody did anything. And, you know, before you get upset, like, I... My parents and I talk with them. Let's just say that. And they're not, they're not going to do anything bad. I know, because it's, it's actually, like, I don't, I don't want to put this person under the spotlight and get them in trouble, because they're genuinely, they're not going to do anything. Like... They're, they're, I can 100% like they're not going to do anything. They're like the nicest person. But, um, you know, I, I just I can't believe it's that easy. You know, we talked to them. They're not they're actually planning on selling them, actually. But I'm, I'm just like, I'm going to tell them to be careful who the hell to sell, sell them to because you could be selling them to the next school shooter or the next, um, you know, mass shooter in general. But it's just like. I nowhere safe like at work I literally look for the exits all the time and I actually remember very specifically a couple of days ago somebody pointing out that the door for uh the what's it like the target employees to go into it did not lock anymore and you uh could get into it without typing any passcode in so not even the workers are safe who are like in the locked sort of part of it where you sign in and sign out um, I think they fixed that, but for that one day, if a shooter would have come in, they would have just literally just had to walk in, open that door and just fire like, you know, and that would probably be after mowing down like a dozen or so customers too. Like it, it's, it's just scary, dude. I don't really know how else to put it. I don't trust that anybody will do anything if I die tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I just, I think people would just cry and, and then, you know, eventually a couple of years later, it was like, it never happened. And I, I don't exactly, I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't know how I got so lucky to not have it happen to me yet. But, you know, it almost happened to somebody I knew too. Like, you know, my cousin with the gunman outside her school who had a rifle. If we, if that person wanted to, apparently they were just hunting, but if they wanted to, they could probably get past the security guards, no problem. And they could... They could just go in. They could have shot my cousin dead, like, first thing. Like, it, it's not, you know, surreal once it almost happens to somebody you know. And especially when, you know, it almost happens to someone, like, that's a family member. But especially, especially if it's, like, me, myself. Like, you know, first-handedly talking to people who basically were so close to witnessing a shooting. I, I don't even think a lot of them realize it. Like, that, that probably was going to be a mass shooting. Uh, it's just, I don't even know what to say. Um, you know, I think I might even, I think I used to know the guy who almost did that too. It's just like, I, you know, I don't, uh, it's so weird. I don't really have security. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm safe anywhere anymore. Cause I, I know I'm not like, it's not a question of if I'm safe. It's more like. 
when when am I going to be unsafe, you know? Uh, and a couple of people I've talked to, they, they, like, encourage me to get a gun. It's like, I don't want to be a part of that, you know? I don't want to, like, cave in to that. Because, in my opinion, if you need a gun to protect yourself, the, your society is, it's a failed society. Because if you need, like, especially if you need an assault rifle to defend yourself, um, you know, that's, that's when you know your society is done. It's not, it's, you know, I hate to say that, like, really, but America's so dead, dude. It's so dead. It's, it's not, you know, it's not metaphorically even because, like, literally people are dead. Like, by the time it hits next decade, I, I wouldn't be surprised if every single holiday represents not only what it was originally meant to celebrate, but a mass shooting as well. And I think... I don't, I don't even know what I think, dude. I don't even know what I think. Because I'm just still trying to comprehend the scale of these kind of things. And, you know, I know a few school shootings are actually stopped, like, right around my area. Somebody was, uh, you know, really close to me. Like, if you do, like, probably a 30-minute drive, there was actually going to be one at uh, Berkeley High. And somebody was planning on contacting others online to help them bomb and then shoot up the school. And, you know, I think they said something like they would make Columbine look like a joke. Uh, they were planning on killing, like, everybody there, like, mowing it down. And, yeah, uh, so <laughs> it's not safe to go to school anymore anymore. Uh, it's not safe to go shopping anymore. It's not even safe to go to work anymore i don't think because of the there's a vta transit shooting around me too that killing lives of like 10 or 11 people it might be nine i don't know hopefully it's not double digits but i something tells me it might be um and you know that guy was like disgruntled and hated his life and so he went in like he shot like a ton of people and then he shot himself before he could like be arrested or anything um I don't, I don't know what to think, dude. I'm sorry this video is so long. I just don't, I don't know what to think because I, I can't concentrate on making videos at this point because it's hard, it's hard to stay motivated at this kind of stage in the way the, uh, the world's working, you know, or uh, not working, I, I should say. I just, you know, it's like every day I go to work, I just feel like it's so inevitable that at least something really dangerous is going to happen. And, you know, I've seen people like throwing stuff and all that, but that's not really what scares me that much. It's just that, you know, I don't think, I don't think a lot of people would be prepared if something bad happened. And I mean, they shouldn't, right? Because you shouldn't, like, always be expecting to, like, get hunted down kind of thing. Um, you know, in my opinion, hunters should just get a different hobby entirely. I, I don't care. It's not worth it anymore, dude. It's not worth excusing having the guns around for hunting. Especially, you know, animals don't have guns to shoot back, dude. It's it's a pussy thing to do, you know. If, if you need it for food, then that's perfectly, you know, it's not moral, but you need to do what you need to do. But I think... If it's, if it's for, uh, just for sport, it's not worth it, dude, it's not, it wasn't worth it, you know, to kill animals with, but especially isn't worth it to mow down kindergartners with, or, you know, any, any shoppers, or just anywhere, dude, it's not worth it to have them around, and I'm, like, past the point of even being angry, and I'm just so, uh, mentally just behind and tired. Hi. Hi. Oh, thanks. There you go. Hi, Mom. You can try out your mic. Yep. I was excited to do that, and now I'm not even excited. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say, dude. But. I don't even know. But, uh, see you guys. See you guys soon. Uh, if I, uh, if I live through work, that is. It's not even a joke anymore, dude. But, uh, 
I don't know what to say, dude. I don't I don't know. Uh I'll see you around, I guess.